All oh, right, what is going on, dude? And welcome to a video on how to get the best quality on your Zoom calls. I miss my cocoa kisses. Okay, so I know a lot of you guys out there must be using Zoom for, you know, school or work, whatever the case may be. And I'm going to teach you how to get the best video quality and audio quality with the equipment you already have, if you don't want to upgrade your equipment, of course. Okay, so first things first, I just, you know, want to show you guys that I'm on my Alienware laptop here, which actually has the webcam and a mic built into it. So, you know, I can do Zoom calls uh, portably, you know, I can move around or sit at my desk, do whatever I want. It's really nice on my Alienware M15 R3 laptop. And uh, the first thing you're going to want to actually do is make sure you download the Zoom client. You don't want to do it to the web i know you guys can do it like do google chrome and everything but you know you want to make sure you download the actual client right because it'll give you the best performance and the best quality so go to the zoom website zoom the us slash download this link will be in the description and just download this uh, thing right here zoom client for meetings click download install it and then open it up once you have that installed okay so once you actually uh, open up the zoom client you know you're gonna have to sign in or make an account if you don't really have one so i'm just gonna do that real quick and then you're gonna be presented with this dashboard right here so once you're at this dashboard, you're going to go to the top right where you see your initials, right there, your name, and then click the settings button. So open up your settings of Zoom, and then you're going to be presented with this panel over here with a whole bunch of options. The two most important ones for improving your quality or making sure your quality is uh, top tier uh, are the video uh, tab and the audio tab. So let's go and start with video. Okay, so here we are in the video tab. You can actually see my face and everything using my Logitech Brio webcam. And uh, before you do anything, make sure you turn all the lights on in your in your uh, you know your room, and then open up all the windows. Natural lights are really important, you know, for you know illuminating your face. So turn all the lights on, open your windows, just as much light as possible in front of you if you can, if possible. Because if you have too much light in the back, you see I have a little bit too much reflection in my refrigerator, too much light behind me. But as you know, I'm in my apartment, it's the best I can do. Um, you know, then you're going to have some little glare issues, but you know, as much light in front of you as possible. And then, you know, you, if you have multiple cameras, you can select your camera. Uh, you know, I'm using my Logitech Brio. And then I would recommend using a 16 by 9 uh, aspect ratio, you know, widescreen. That's the traditional, uh, you know, 1920 by 1080p uh, webcam resolution. And then right here, really important, really important right here, click enable HD, okay? Because if you have a, say you have a 1080p webcam, you know, like a Logitech C920 or the Logitech Brio, some really popular webcams. Uh, you want to make sure you're outputting the highest resolution possible. So make sure to select Enable HD. And then I would also recommend mirroring my video because, you know, if I'm on the left-hand side, left, left, right, right. Otherwise, it just looks, it's kind of weird presenting yourself. So I would recommend uh, mirroring my video. And then touch of appearance, you know, this if you want to, you know, get rid of the blemishes on your face. It's, that's optional. It's up to you. And then if you're in a low light area, this actually does a pretty good job um, adjusting for low light. Right here, you can do audio or you can do manual settings, you know, it'll increase the exposure on your webcam and, um, you know, just brighten up the picture a little bit if your picture is a bit dark. But I don't need that for now. That's, that's uh, again, this is up to you and up to your situation. And then these are some, you know, just preferences right here. So you can uh, check and uncheck those as you wish. But these right here, these enable HD, that's the far, by far the most important um, check mark. And then adjust for low light if you are in a low light situation. So let's go to the audio tab right here. So this is the audio tab. Uh, you can change your speaker if you have, you know, headphones, or you know, you have your actual speakers. Uh, you can on your laptop or desktop. You can change it here. You know, whatever you would you like, and then the volume of that thing. And then you can actually test the speaker to make sure you know which which devices are coming out of. Click the button, and it'll play a little sound determining determining uh, what device the speaker is actually playing out of. And then same with your microphone here. You know, you you have if you have a bunch of different microphones. Uh, I have a, um, a Yeti Nano right here, so um, I'm using that as a microphone. And you know, I also have a Brio's webcam that has a built-in mic, but the, of course the Yeti Nano is better, so I'm selecting that one, and I can test the microphone also. So I'll just click test mic. Testing one, two, three, testing one, two, three. Testing one, two, three, testing one, two, three. And it'll play it back so you know you can hear your mic volume, and then uh, I would recommend unchecking this button, automatically adjust microphone volume. I mean, this is really up to you, but if you want to, you know, fine tune the uh, the volume of your mic, you can actually do that right here. Otherwise, it'll just do it for you automatically. But um, you can just slide it around and, you know, test the mic and see, you know, what sounds good. What's, I don't want to, you know, be too low where people can hear me, but I don't want to be too loud where I'm just, you know, taking over the entire Zoom call, you know. So, um, you know, that's up to you. 
Uh, so press background noise, I would recommend change that to auto also, you know, to get rid of any background noise and it'll actually mute your mic like automatically. Not when you're muted, but say you're unmuted, right? Say you're unmuted. This is like Discord. Say you're unmuted and then you have a little bit of background noise behind you. Uh, the the Zoom call will actually not pick that up. It'll only pick up when you're actually speaking into the mic. So that's really nice here. So you, you can, you know, read a little bit of that right there. You know, noise suppression removes distracting sounds. So I would change that to auto. And then there's a bunch of different, you know, again, preferences right here you can change. So uh, yeah, that's pretty much the best settings I would recommend uh, for your Zoom calls. Um, you know, if you have a bad mic and a bad webcam, this is the best you can do. Otherwise, you're going to probably have to go and buy a new one. Yeah, again, so the best two options here, video, right? You're going to want to make sure you enable HD. And then if you need it, adjust for a low light right here. And then audio, um, just make sure you have the correct uh, devices selected. And then you can change the input volume right here, actually, if you would like to. So uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video on how to improve your Zoom calls. Uh, thanks for watching. Make sure to rate, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you next time. All right. La, 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 la.